This is how cold it is in Dongbei. Welcome to Chichiha in Heilongjiang province, northern China. It's one of the most northern and coldest cities in China. Right now it's minus 26 degrees, cold enough for even the river behind me to have completely frozen over. I'm here for spring festival, so come with me, let's go and see what we can find. So, this is Chichiha's version of a Wanda, Wanda Square shopping centre on a frozen spring festival day. Spring festival is actually tomorrow, so um, you may hear a lot of people setting off fireworks and lighting fires to burn fake money to honour their deceased relatives. I'm just going for a stroll around to see how different it is from, from Shanghai. It's so cold out here. People don't even need to use freezers or anything like that. Just leave the meat and fish out on the street and it just stays frozen for the whole time. It's a very beautiful, very beautiful city. Its communities remind me pretty much of any usual communities that you'd find in any other tier two cities like Foshan, for example. They're quite small, quite modern. Some of the buildings look like they've only recently been finished. There's not many people about, but I think that's mainly because with Spring Festival being tomorrow, everyone's at home preparing for the festivities to begin and getting prepared or meeting with family. seems to be completely frozen over. Um, I'm really not sure how people just live normal lives in these conditions. Minus 25 to minus 30 for eight months, uh, pretty much eight months of the year. It's a very, very long eight month winter and people just seem to seem to be used to these conditions and just go about their normal daily lives. Must be very tough, tough, hard people to be able to to live like this. I know I couldn't do it, that's for sure. We're going to take a walk in this direction and see if we can find the town centre and see what it looks like on the day before Spring Festival. Let's see if my camera lasts that long. It is minus 26 at the moment. And there was fresh snow last night, so the camera is struggling a little bit at the moment. It is freezing. My hands have turned to blocks of ice. I'm gonna nip inside this shopping centre and see if I can find a, a hot drink to warm, warm my hands up so I can continue vlogging. This is ridiculous. so nice to get a nice warm drink inside me. Warmed up now, it's time for my first 
Dongbei meal and that's going to be Chi Chi Ha barbecue. Apparently it's really really popular around these parts so let's give it a go. Okay this is the location, I've been told it's pretty good, let's go give it a go. And basically, I really, really like um, spicy, so I will put some chili. Oh my god. Yeah. That's a lot. That's all right. And this kind of sauce is barbecue sauce, and it's a little bit spicy. And uh, if you want to try, you can put some. But I like this dry sauce. Wow, what a meal. Can't imagine going through my life and not getting the pleasure of experiencing Chi Chi Ha barbecue. We had a couple of cuts of beef, some oysters, some vegetables, some sweet potato, and a couple of other bits. All in all, a great meal. But now it's time to brace the cold on the wind, and go and see what else we can find in Chichiha. It's getting colder as well. I think it's minus 30 right now. Wish me luck. So I remembered that I've got the ultimate responsibility of preparing the dishes for Spring Festival tomorrow. So just made a quick excursion into the supermarket, see if we can find the ingredients. The only issue is I'm preparing Western dishes, so getting the ingredients might be a bit tricky. I regret to say the search is not going too well so far. Hey, do you 
So the plan was for some really easy Western food like fish and chips, maybe a roast chicken, some beef wellington, some stuff like that. But it doesn't really seem like we, we can find half of the ingredients needed. So probably just going to have to improvise. I'm not really sure what I was expecting to be honest. This obviously isn't a Western supermarket. So we're currently in the rather impressive alcohol section, searching for some Baijiu. Oh. This is So this place is a maze. It even has its own brewery, but it doesn't seem to have chicken. It brews its own beer, but it doesn't have chicken. Explain it to me. It's absolutely freezing outside, so we've come inside to get some warm malatang, some dongbei malatang. Let's give it a go. <coughs> Spicy. The difference between the malatang in dongbei and the malatang everywhere else is actually the special sesame sauce they put inside. When I'm in Shanghai and I have malatang, I usually go for the tomato sauce, but here, obviously the sesame sauce is what I've gone for, and although I only asked for slightly spicy, it is incredibly spicy, so northern people, they can really, really handle their spice. If the malatang in Shanghai was like the malatang here, I'm pretty sure I'd have it for most meals. It really is that delicious. I'm letting them off in the middle of the street. So, we've come to some sort of ice and snow festival, similar to what they have in Harbin. Um, I didn't realise they actually had something like this in Chichiha, but from what I've seen so far, I mean I've just walked in, but from what I've seen so far, it's absolutely massive. So, I'm gonna probably spend an hour or two checking out this place and see, see what I can find before I slowly start to freeze. Okay, first port of call. I think we're going to try this massive ferris wheel, this massive London eye looking thing. How do we get in?
So this is the the highest point. Okay, that was a bit underwhelming to be honest. Pretty sure it was even colder inside the little cable car than it is outside. Let's see what else we can find. This place is super, super pretty, but it's really dead. I mean, there's literally not anybody here whatsoever. Maybe 15 to 20 people. I mean, I haven't even passed anyone. This is just people that I can see dotted about. And because of that, I think most things are actually closed. I don't know whether it's not busy because it's just two days before Spring Festival or whether it's just usually like this. I see some, I see some sort of ride that's open over there, so we're going to go and check it out. That there, that red headed crane, that's the national animal of Chichiha. So we're trying to find the entrance of this ride, but it's not looking promising around here. And there's no staff about whatsoever, so it's not as if we can ask. Okay, ticket secured, dinghy secured. Let's go see what it's like. It was 50 yuan though, which, I mean, it's a little bit steep if you ask me. Nice bit of fun, but there's not really too much here to do. So I'm gonna move on and call it a day and see what adventures we can get up to tomorrow. Good night.